Hey folks, this is Vagrid. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the Siege of Paris. The Siege of Paris. The Bodo. In today's video, we are trying to find the Queen because that's going to grant us a, uh, a negotiation table sit down Welcome. with the King. Hello. And I'd like to see. I would like to see the baby. <laughs> I would like to see about upgrading this. How many ingots do I have? It does get a new appearance. And I love me a new appearance. I'm not sure I even like the weapon, fundamentally, but, uh. What are you gonna do, eh? The Scythe of Revolt. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, sweet. Yo, I just realised something. I didn't think about this. Wait, downgrade gear. Oh, you get items back. Ow! Oh! I went and upgraded tons of stuff in the past, as you can see. I upgraded basically everything I could that had a new uh, visual when you upgraded it, because, you know, I wanted, like, all my transmog options, as you can see. And that one, for example, isn't upgraded, but as you can see on the right-hand side, it's because it doesn't have a, um, a transmog option. But, it's good to know that if I needed some stuff, now it is, you don't get all of it back, but, you know, if I if I find, like, a weapon I really like and I'm running out of materials, then I can, uh, you know, I can change things up. That's pretty cool. See you later, buddy. I'm a Bye for now. Bye for now. I am a dramatic man. You like how dramatic I am? <laughs> uh, I'm only going to do this once, aren't I? Yeah, I'm really missing on the um, titanium. But hey, it's gonna, it's, you know what, the attack on this thing is going to be actually really, really good. The problem really was just that I didn't have... Um, hmm. The problem was really just that I didn't have it upgraded. Increase critical chance after each hit, increase critical damage after each hit, increase critical damage when close to death, increase heavy damage when dodging, increase the attack after taking a hit. What do I want? These are the ones that make annoying noises, if I remember correctly. Uh, what's the crit rate? Crit pre crit's really good actually on this. That one. And I'm gonna just get rid of back damage because that's stupid. Maybe I can find a crit chance. It's crit chance, but it's a bit low. A better crit rune? No. Okay, we'll take we'll take a minor crit chance. Kind of lean into the uh, critical damage thing. Very cool. Right, it is the start of a new episode, so we're gonna grab ourselves one of these uh So what will it be? Pierre Michons. What have you got for me? What has you got for me? Thank you, Dennis. You know what, let's do a let's do a let's do one of these. Just because I keep not doing it, so Oh plus I'll get more. I actually get fifty more. I can't count, I'm a dummy. Nothing to your liking. No! <laughs> Every time what do you have? I can't resist Dis an honourable kill. A dishonourable kill. Yeah, because I've got three ranged people now, right? Because we did the upgrade. So if I do it correctly, I should actually get uh, 350 thingamajiggies. Where we go? Oh, look at that! Beautiful place to go. And then we can turn it in right there, and then head up north and find Laquino. The world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is massive. You're not wrong, game. You're not wrong. Oh, no. I don't... Uh, uh, where we go this way? I'm just getting off from that, yeah. Whee! I think I need to maybe go do a raid, and when I raid, make sure I'm picking up all the little boxes. I think that's something I neglected a little bit back on the, uh, on the mainland in particular. And I've ended up at... Uh, hello, Paddington. I've ended up paying the price for it a little bit. The scythe is awesome. I, I kind of like something a little bit fancier looking. I'm not going to lie, but... Still pretty cool. And, uh... Oh, hello. I haven't really picked up any cool armor sets or anything yet, either. Where's my squad? My squaddies. Hold there. Sorry, Paddington. So many of them! You are going to die. See, my boys can just sit back there, right? Absolutely safe. I am the scythe-wielding maniac in the front row. <laughs> going to hell. 
Siphon. Wow. Can I steal this horse? I can't steal this horse. Oh, I can't steal this horse. You know what? Maybe I should do this on my horse. On my bear. It makes more sense. Come here. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I'll stick to the bear next time. Make this moderately less annoying. Allies alive zero? Oh no! Oh, it's gone so badly. Oh, they all died. Oh, I completely didn't realize they've just been getting slaughtered here at the back. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I've, come, I've, I've messed up a little bit here. I need to catch the convoy, it's gonna get away. Paddington, help me! My, boy, my squad's all dead. To be fair, I, I don't care too much about... I mean, that's the coins, yeah. right? And I care less about the coins than I do about the... Just generally levelling up the... Um, infamy system, but... I would have preferred to keep them alive, I won't lie. Are you the ones I'm killing? Oh! No, <laughs> it feels so bad. But you know, only two more to go to level up for me. We'll probably do that today. Actually, I'll um, I'll stop the main quest a little bit early, and we'll hop back and get that done. Oh no! <laughs> Don't okay, leave me alone, okay? Hopefully, when we level up a tier again, we'll actually get an infamy tier multiplier. It's a bit weird that we don't seem to be. Maybe I should upgrade my bow people. Range rebel to marksman. And then they get bows. There we go. My squad is maxed out. My, my range squad is as good as they're going to be. There's nothing here that I particularly want. I mean, I'm going to pick up the whole lava set as well. But I am going to... Maybe stupidly assume that I will end up getting enough to do that. Now, let's fast travel. Nah, let's not bother. Where are we going? There. And we're gonna grab that one. Paddington! Let's go, buddy. Nice little journey into the wilderness. The devil did you just say to me? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, it's funny, I'm um I'm vibing pretty hard with this game right now. I don't know why, like it's just, this is it's just, it's just Assassin's Creed, right? Nothing has changed. It is basically the same game yet again. A game that I've got about a hundred and 20 hours. I think it's 118 hours or something like that I have in this game already. So, you know, I've done basically the same thing for 118 hours. This is one of my most played games of all time, which is really strange to me. But, uh, well, like I said, it's just comforting in a way. Paddington, you love to slow down. Like, we're miles from the town. When <laughs> you're wobbling your little booty around, just run, you silly bear. See, this is the walk speed. Oh, bless me trying, and then this is sprint. Speed. There's no way this is right. Like, I swear when I'm on the Lynx or a horse, it doesn't slow down this much. There's no need for this to happen. I don't blame you, Paddington. I blame bloody Valhalla. There's no need for this. A nice little town, though. I'm so bored. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Sickness spreading in Francia. I didn't even see all that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she killed a local there for some reason. It's funny that they haven't changed the sound effects depending on your mount, so you can hear as Paddington walks down this road. It sounds like a horse's hooves. Hear that? Kind of get away with it a little bit more on the grass, but even then. Can I still not sprint? What is going on? 
what's the point in a mount? <laughs> it's going to take me a billion years to get anywhere. This was not like this in the main game. Like, an area like that, you'd always be able to sprint. This is ridiculous. I don't want to keep complaining, but <laughs> why is this a thing? I don't, I don't even like speed limiting in the major towns, but at least... Why is that? Like, now I'm in the town, you're letting me sprint. What is going on? I'm perplexed by this game sometimes. I really am. Just, just a handful of utterly bizarre decisions. I have to hurry. What are you doing? We're going to miss little mother if you don't hurry yourself. Can't miss little mother. What little mother? Oh, sir. <laughs> I didn't see that at all. Not no. one of us is pure. Oh, no, my love. We then. all will answer to God, and so we all must seek deliverance by the grace of God. Little Mother is here to aid us. She is almost ready to begin. Make your way to the church. They're gathering somewhere. They might know something about the Queen. I am now your preacher. Listen to me. Little Mother is a false idol. I am... Shush. I'm your only idol now. American Idol, right? Has that been put into any other country? Do you get, like, Norwegian Idol? I'd watch Norwegian Idol. More crit damage. That's a good little rune, that one. I'll pick that up. And I don't think I need Nickel. Oh, that Titanium. Hello. Right, I've got to make sure, because I haven't been doing it, that if I ever see Titanium, I pick it up, basically. I'll see you Go check out the church. I'm going to climb this first. I'm going to climb on top of it, and then I'm going to check it out. You would usually do that in the other order, but uh, Eivor, there's no interest in that. She's a, she's a determined lass, to say the least. Come on, girl, you can do it. That's a tough one, though. There we go. Should be fine now, yeah. That move that she does is incredibly difficult stuff. You know where you... I mean, I've seen people, like, mountain climbers do it on an actual mountain, which is obviously absolute goddamn madness. But you know where she kind of, like, throws herself backwards and then up? Like, if the, if the higher... If the ledge she's grabbing is up behind her and above her. Madness. Hello? <laughs> How do I get up? Okay. Sometimes you have to hit A, you know? Just like real life. Don't be scared to hit A every now and again. You might plummet to your death though, so don't do that. Right. Uh, is that hay? Yeah. <laughs> it's never that easy to tell. You have to double check. Hello. Here, with my good will. Merci, child. May you receive the blessing of little mother. Who is this little mother? I don't want to buy the cloak. The cloak is silly. I'm assuming the queen is the little mother. Little mother will soon begin. Okay. And back on those, the cloak. The dark waters covered me. Then his holy light came and oh, the glory of his brightness. You will recall the miracle of Saint Orinus, how he raised the burned girl back to life. As a child, I too was burned and near to death. At his altar, the saint appeared, touched me, and I was healed. Time could not corrupt the saint's holy body. He touched me so that now I might touch you. Loki himself could not tell a better story. <laughs> God is light, 
But what have you done in his light? All are turned to their own way and gone astray into darkness. The devil has hold of your thoughts, your hearts, your very bodies. No one is safe, whether you are pauper, king, or queen. Choose this day whom you will serve, for judgment is coming. And with it comes either deliverance or damnation. I absolutely adore how they say deliverance. Let us pray. Deliverance. Vive la révolution. <clears throat> You're a eager sort, you aren't you? Where's she go? Gone. This little mother knows something about the queen. I need to find her. Hello? He should have been back from the witch. You are troubled. It's my husband. He went for deliverance and hasn't come back. It's been days. Oh, it's all my fault. Yeah, probably. Tell me about deliverance. My husband was going to leave me, but he loves me. The devil got into him somehow. We sent him to Aquila for a deliverance ritual. Little mother said it would rid him of the devil. The rituals happen at Aquila. Yes. Little Master has a sanctum there. Oh, my poor husband. Do you think he's okay? I think you should prepare for the worst and pray to your God for the best. <gasps> yes. I must pray. I must pray. I should go to Aquila where rituals are being done. Okie dokie. Well, it's been nice being able to just blame all your marital problems on a bloody on, on Satan, <laughs> essentially. See if anyone there knows where to find little mother. Easy way to get out of actually addressing your communication problems, eh? Oh, Satan made me do it. It's even worse since that nun got her fancy prisoner. I mean, I thought I'd come from the right way here. We were talking about something important. A fancy prisoner. But I've got stuff to do. I don't know where I'm going. I'm lost already. Ah, it's over there. We're okay. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Eva, what are you doing? There we go. Sweet. Not that I ever use the tattoos, but, uh... Yo. Just stop being weird. Like, religion... If you were less weird, you wouldn't be having all these problems you're having now where, like, everyone is disenfranchised with religion and, you know, nobody's religious anymore. If you were just more chill, it wouldn't have been an issue. But you had to be massive nerds about it. Tavern Keep, I'm new here. Can you tell me about Little Mother? No. The deliverance rituals are all these drunkards talk about. Isn't that right, Bastion? You loudmouth shot. <laughs> Take a seat, Narsoner. Bastien's buying, and he'll tell you all about it. Right, Bastien? That's me, all right. Bastien's a loud mouth. Bastien's a drunk. And let's not forget, Bastien's a drink yeah. buyer. You have oh, us well. at an advantage, Northerner. Where do you hail from? The North. I just got in from Milan. Milan? You're not one of Siegfried's, are you? I'm just passing through, friend. Do not go through Aquila. That's where they take the poor fools for deliverance. They might take you too. <laughs> tell me about little mother and her deliverance rituals. I can tell you it's a lot of extra work for us. Since she got her special prisoner, it's worse. Shh, Bastien. We can't speak of God's business. The special prisoner? Someone close to the king, they say. A woman, no less. Mon dieu, Bastien! Ah, but we cannot speak of that, lest God hears us. Drink up, my friends! Bastien is buying! Bastien, you seem like a good lad, but I've gotta, I've gotta pop off. Take down my hood for the 50th time in this video. Little mothers just won't let us rest. 
We are working today. So little mother, being the crazy bit that she is, has decided to steal the queen. It's a normal thing that people do. Separation of church and state is important, but back in these times it led to a lot of problems. And the uh, church leaders were regarded as more powerful than... I wonder who would be regarded as more regarded if you polled... Everyone in the world, not everyone in the world, let's say everyone in the west part of the world, and you ask them who's more powerful, the Pope. Oh, hello, I have to kill her. The nun called Little Mother controls the people of everywhere with her gospel of fear and fire, now she has Queen Richardis at her mercy. Only it would be wise to cover up. The less attention I draw, the easier it will be to find the Queen. Not wrong, love. <laughs> nice and subtle approach. Alright, another assassination mission. Very cool. We should upgrade our weapon, actually. Mm, although, thinking about it, do I want to... Uh... Oh, we still don't have enough. Bloody hell. Sorry, I saw something else that excited me. Yeah, I think I'll go... I might do some exploration around here later on. Da-da, da-da, da-da-da... <laughs> Still further down. What? What? Where? Where are you, little treasure? Oh, you're an armor suit as well. Or a piece of equipment. I want you. Be mine, Exo. There's another poor soul here for that dreadful ritual. Terrible. Terrible. Aquila is no place for your kind. Leave. Alright. Not any casual racism. <laughs> it's literally what it is. There was a man who went to bed. The devil got inside his head. Deliverance for him, they said. Then little mother give him dead. Hey there. Who told you that song? I made it up myself. It's about the deliverance they do at the creep. I think they must have delivery of this deer, too. The creep? <laughs> you mean the crypt? Yeah. I see people go there all the time, but I'm not allowed. Mother says the gods will beat me if I go too close. I will have a talk with those crypt guards. Oh, be careful. Don't talk to little mother. She'll give you a delivery ounce, and you'll end up like the deer. Kids are the best. <laughs> they just... You know, to give you all the info you need right away. No faffing about. My there's, eyes. There's a key up there. I've lost my family, my future, and now the key to the crypt as well. Didn't mean to do that. Give it to me. <laughs> Probably quite obvious I didn't mean to do that, but. Oh well, no. I mean. Buddy, look at what I just did to your friend. Why are you trying to fight me? Come on. Let's be logical about this. Ow. Stop hitting. Oh no. Who? I can't even see him. Where are you? I did see a third. There you are. Bun! Demon! Oh, is this a crypt? Hello, crypt. I was... yeah. actually didn't know where it was, though. It was all worked out very nicely. Okay, so he's lost the key. The key's over here. God, Can't have been looking very hard. Something nearby. It's right bloody there. Why am I messing up these assassinations? I don't know why. Okay, here we go. Down into the crypt. Into the creep, I should say. Oh, the queen's okay. There is a smell of blood amongst the dust and a taste of iron on my tongue. He's just a normal god? Yeah. 
Christian sarcophagus. Most are ancient, but this one is new. What is she up to? I like this kind of stuff. You know what I'm like. <laughs> Blood and crypty, ghouly, creepy stuff. In my element. There's another key over there. Oh, hello. Leather and fabric. Not quite what I'm looking for, but... Oh, well. It's nice for the guards to all be looking away. <laughs> There's one thing you want from your guards is for them to be ripe for assassination. It's just a bucket of blood. Delicious. I got a bucket of blood. 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 Gallons of the stuff. Give them all that they can drink and it'll never be enough, so give them blood. 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 <laughs> Surely little mother won't hurt her. It isn't right. Hold your breath because there's gonna be a flood. Blade, but the edge is dull. It will not cut easily. I need to dip it in the blood. Well, why? <laughs> okay. New assistant directions. Most serious exhortation to new assistants. The preparation of the dagger must be performed perfectly. The devil is watching. There can be no error. Assistants who came before have suffered for the carelessness. Therefore, be vigilant. When you enter the preparation room, you are entering a tabernacle of God. Be mindful and do everything in humility and obedience. Take the dagger and dip its blade into the blood of the sacrifice. No blood must go to the hilt. Once the blade is dipped, do not touch it, it is holy. Enter the inner chamber with reverence. When I beckon, present the dagger to me with hilt forward. Keep your eyes lowered, do not speak, do not look on my charge. Once the dagger is passed, leave quickly and without sound. Do this and no harm will befall you, the devil cannot touch you. Okay. You startled me. You are one of the new assistants? Good. That is good. Yes. I've been sent to help. And I look you like it. <laughs> a bad time. They have the queen in there. It doesn't seem right. I, I don't think I can do it. I will. Tell me what to do. Really? Okay. Little mother needs her knife dipped in sacrificial blood. It is on the table. Then you must take it to her. All right. I'll prepare the knife and take it to little mother. You stay here. Handy. Uh, there it is. Lovely jubbly. The oh. Seems to come at a high price. Someone has suffered on this table. People were messed up back then, man. I mean, people are messed up now, but this kind of thing is decidedly less common than it used to be at the very least. That's got to be a step in the right direction. Oh, this is a... The knife is covered with the blood. I can use it to get close to little mother while keeping the queen safe. Messed up, man. It's messed up. How do you do that to another person? They could kill the queen. I need to find a way to get close to her without raising suspicion. Bellator's letter. Euphrasia. Once the queen is secured, he must move quickly. We cannot expect her abduction to remain undiscovered long. The queen above all of us is key to Frankia's deliverance. Do not wait for her consent. Do not attempt to reason with her. God himself has delivered her into our hands, and, into our hands, and we must fulfil the duty before us. Purge the devil from her completely. If you are interrupted before the task is accomplished, she must die at your hand. We cannot let her li live under the power of evil to influence the king further. Do not be concerned by the severity of your task. This is the moment for which you were created and to which God saved you. He has endowed you with unique gifts. Use them now with absolute surety that it is his will for Frankia and for his kingdom. Latin nonsense at the end. Oh, look, someone's been burned in here. Every room is just like a, a cavalcade of torture of some description. Yo. This is not the work of God. You know the scripture. Oh, they've still got the bloody thing on them. Oh, nice screenshot. Where do they instruct you to do such things? My instruction comes from God. 
as you will soon see. That is the queen, and she's being held by a little mother. Those are her elite guards. Best not to try to take them head on. Maybe I, mean, I can find a way to distract them. Oh. Okay. Find a way to distract the guards. I reckon I can kill this one, you know. Hey, what? I don't want a stealth attack game. Okay. Maybe a way to distract the guards. Let's have a little poke around. I just got a jail cell key. I'm, a, I'm thinking maybe I can, like, let some people out or something. Those guards have the key to the cage. Open yeah. it would create a distraction. Well, I, just, I figured that out on my own game, thank you. But I just don't know where the cage is instead of here. It'll be alright, love. Don't you worry about it. People are alive. Oh, hello. It's just dead people everywhere. <laughs> Got you, buddy. Here you go. I want to see if you've got any loot. I could not take any more. I was going to leave my wife. Now she is the only person I want to see. Oh, it's him. Run, buddy, run. I need to. Yeah, I need to get out of here as well. Where are they going? Should be good. Drop down. I'll stay head upstairs. All right, here we go then. When my assistant returns with my knife, your deliverance will begin. You should know, your majesty. I am only God's instrument. Ah, here is my assistant with my knife. We can begin. I am little mother, touched by Saint Orinus, chosen by God. You are just another royal brood mare, mated to a king she doesn't love. In your bitterness, you turn him against God. You see, your majesty, you can hide nothing from a true servant of God. God himself knows I do not try. That is a lie. You speak for the devil now, do you know that? But we will cut him right out of you. Then we will get to the truth, you and God and I. Put your faith in that. Assistant, my knife. Oh, God damn. Satoinus, save me. God damn, Eivor. <laughs> Absolutely no chill. <laughs> Didn't expect that. I will surely deliver thee, because thou hast put thy trust in me. I am sorry she had to die. She was not always like this, and too young for such bitterness. Your methods are uncompromising, but your coming was God's doing. You are an order now. Aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I'm not here because of any god. I'm here because your husband, the king, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we're discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. It was a brave thing to do. It was not bravery. But I'm only here because I have a good... Okay, we know. Charles to return you to him. Rats! The plague brought them. The vermin have no shortage of food here. Oh, I know it's good. It's under here. No, there's more rats! More rats! Hey, over there! Into the pit with you! Eh! Get! Get! Thank you. Quick before they reemerge. 
I wonder if I may do this. More will come. You will have to do for now. Alright, come on, Queenie. Now we have to. Oh, oh. Still didn't get that bloody armor set. Oh, we are blocked in. The wall is weak. I had a little worry that that she was expecting me to use the barrel. Do not doubt it. But I have to go now. There is somewhere I must be. It was not your god who freed you. It was me. And I did it only to return you to your husband. That is where we're going. You think because you did something it was not God? God used a donkey once. He can use anyone. Even you. Nevertheless, I'm taking you to Charles. It is not me Charles wants. I can trust you. I know it. I perceive God working something strange through you. I will show you what Charles seeks. You could be trying to deceive me. Yes. I suppose I could, but I am not. Do you really not see the strangeness in all this? That it must be God. I see only that your God makes it so you can never be wrong. <laughs> I like you, Eva. I can see why God chose you, and why we should be friends. We will go together. Okay. I'm gonna ride a horse out of the... Daft hope that maybe a horse won't slow down constantly like my bloody bear. <laughs> I mean to bargain with your husband, the king, but he's a complicated man. You are being diplomatic. Charles was not always as he is now. When he was a boy, he fell into fits of madness. His keepers believed him possessed and put him through a ritual. His conversion afterwards was sincere, though he gained a terrible fear of fire. When we met, he was honorable and pious. You sound proud of Charles. You loved him. Do I? Yes, in a way. But we have never been a normal husband and wife in private. Does he not love you? It is not him. I could never be what he needed. But he is a man and found solace elsewhere. Often. The nun little mother was going to kill you. Perhaps. Her deliverance rituals were brutal and cruel. Few survived. Euphrasia belonged to a secret group that believes Francia has fallen into apostasy. She thought me possessed. The Bishop Engelwyn was part of this group, I think. You know of Engelwyn? Yes. They call themselves Bella Torres Dei, God's warriors, and there are more of them. I was thinking during that assassination event, <clears throat> it came up with the option to assassinate, right? I had to click it in the time scheme. It's, it's very quick, so I don't know why necessarily, but the point is I had to click it. Um, if you don't click it then, what happened? I'm like really curious what happens if you don't click the assassination during the assassination attempt. Do you just fail? Do the cutscenes progress? Yes. Charles has a son. You know, maybe it progresses and you get another option to do it later on. Maybe I'm missing out by killing them so early. Oh no. You're safe. God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard, this is Eivor, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. <sighs> he paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He's better than many I've seen. Did you teach him? I do not have that gift. He got the ability from his mother, I think. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. 
Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the trap down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I must leave again for a while. When I return, I want to hear your Latin verbs. I know you're going to see father without me. I'm not stupid, you know. By keeping Bernard from Charles, you hope to prevent him becoming king. You misunderstand me, Eivor. Bernard must assume the throne for the good of Francia. <gasps> you see what Charles has become. Bernard is young, but will make a good ruler. One that will be more sympathetic to your people, also. If Charles wants the child, I'll not be pleased to see you without him. I hope that is not true. Charles knows the Bellatores took me. He would be concerned. We have not been on good terms lately. But he sent you to free me. Perhaps he wishes to be reconciled. That bear is wounded. Wait. If it is wounded, it is dangerous. What are you doing, you mad lass? All right. Shh. Oh, what have you done to yourself? There. God is with you. Be more careful now. Off you go. They are noble animals. She had given up. She is all right now. Thanks to God. We're not one with Chardis. So tame in Frankia. All of God's beasts respond to love, Eva. Even more so when they are hurt. In that they are not so different to people. You have the gift with beasts. But you're speaking of Charles now. You think the same is true even of him? Especially of him. We are here. Charles camp. <laughs> Well, at least he's got clothes on this time. I fulfilled our agreement. He is your wife, the Queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife. Finally, you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is from nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for... Taking Bernard, but... Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and... awash with... thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white. All purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man, but as your fool. Charles, no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard de Chardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, Northern Devil, who presumes to sit at a negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You're a bad man, child. You lie to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. And so he has. Hope I get to kill you, Shal. I'll take care of the guards. Stay here. Hey. Don't do that. <clears throat> God will protect me. My problem with the God will protect me crowd is it doesn't make any sense. Uh, this last, she's a very nice woman. 
she's like, well, yeah, God's kept her safe. Even though I did all the work. It's the equivalent of, you know, when when a doctor saves you and you say, thank God, blah, 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 and don't actually thank the doctors, which is uh, immensely silly. Um, but, I mean, the other lass, I can't remember her name, Little Mother, I'm sure she thought God would protect her as well. <laughs> you know, I'm sure she would have said the same thing. And yet she's very, very dead and has a knife in her face. So, you know, how does that work? Where about the units a thing in the... I think they were, but they weren't very common. Always saying what they do not mean to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your God or your husband. But you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a siege to prepare and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble, Eivor of Raventlan. You will see. Farewell for now. If they see me, this will get messy. She's a nice lass. I'm a big fan of her work. Charles, however, Charles is a monster. I do not like him whatsoever. Right, so we are somewhat approaching the end. I want to get two of those missions done this time, so let's go ahead and uh, do just that. Get ourselves our level 3 infamy, see what we're going to unlock, etc, etc. <laughs> Always a little risky, that. <laughs> Uh, where are we? There we are. Hello! Angry looking lad, aren't you? I guess it maybe makes sense to do the nearby ones, because... It'll be quicker. <laughs> Basically. I'm very clever, I know. <laughs> it's crazy. But to be honest, given the distance most of these um, things are, you can kind of just... Fast travel anyway. <laughs> Paddington! The slowest bear in the world. Sorry. <laughs> this is the fast boy stuff. Uh, where are you? Where are you? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll do it at the end. We'll do a map clearing thing at the end of the, the playthrough. That's fine. There's some stuff I want to do like in the main game, as I've said. You know, maybe the river raids. Maybe um, that new challenge thingamajiggy. Move! <laughs> like I'm in the wilderness! Look at where I am! Why are you being so slow? Is it a bear thing? Or is it a... Map thing? Either the map is terribly designed or the bear is bugged. It has to be one of the two. This is driving me insane. Like, look at where I am. Why am I slow down here? I know I've complained about it all episode, but it is really irritating. Anyways. What was I saying? For my tirade? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Okay, this time, rebel allies. As much as you sound cool and like you're from Star Wars, we're going to be cooler and what are we going to do? That's right, we're not going to die. I guess we're infiltrating this thing. I think there's treasure here. Yeah, there is. Sweet. I should not be seen in this area. What? Go. Oh, hello. Hey. 
God damn it. Oh, that's a lot of people. One by one they come to die, come to die, come to die. One by one they come to die. Oi! Don't do that. Worries me. I, I want to use the wolf that to kind of like... Oh, it's my doggo! It's not a wolf anymore, I forgot. It's just a, a hunting dog, an Irish hunting dog. Everyone's alive. So far. Guys, stay out of the town. Although they're all better equipped now. Maybe they're, you know, better equipped to handle all this. Nearly there. Alright, calm down. That attack is still so good just for getting Goy's stamina back and breaking like any problem situation. I wonder if I could snuck in and just tweak in that. That's an interesting idea. They're all alive! Fantastic, okay. Oh yeah, I want a treasure. I definitely want this treasure. Why are you marked red? Are you a bandit? They just free a bandit. Should I feel bad? Okay, I want to try something. <laughs> this is gonna feel a bit mean, but I am curious to see what happens. That was not my intention. Ow! <laughs> That's not the plan. There's like a tiny little dinkum. I'm gonna call it a dinkum. I don't know what you'd call it. It's a little bit sticky out bit. There you go. Alright. No. Resist. Okay, so back to town, grab one more of these, do that, max out my, well not max out my infamy, but hit infamy level 3, get some new upgrades, check out those, feel happy happy. Buy titanium every episode. The rules are being established. And we leveled up, so we can spend 4 whole skill points, which is cool beans. Magnifique. You want to do more? He's actually not the one I should talk to because he talks. All the others just kind of stare at me, annoyed. But because he what chats away, it actually takes a longer time to. Uh, Show me what is available. To do these. Hmm. I'll do. Whatever. So it begins. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> They're about 600 meters away, typically. I just think, like, usually they're, they're all up in the middle of nowhere anyway, so it is easier to just... You can pick the better one, the one worth more, and then fast travel down there anyway, you know? Oh, well, off we go. Sorry, Papa. I don't want to wake you up, buddy. I've inadvertently slapped around so many birds in this video during that little walk with Richard earlier. Did not mean to kick the, the pigeon or whatever it was, but, uh... They just kind of flew into me, you know? Probably grab this treasure while we're here as well. <laughs> oh, a little hobby bear. You know, Paddings, I wish I could get him a hat. I wonder if there's any mods for this game. I wonder if someone's modded him a hat. See, the reason for that, folks, is because Paddington Bear wears a hat and a raincoat. Just in case you were curious. Do, 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 do. It just seems like a happy little puppy, you know? Alright, we'll grab this. I'm sure it's part of the same deal, kind of like last time. Collect the hidden intel. Oh, hello. No. I feel it's very much a, um... Oh, damn. Boys did some work there. 
I feel this is very much a, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a group weapon. You know, surrounded by lots of people, it's really good for that. It doesn't feel as good for this kind of situation. I mean, you boys are even f Oh, hello. <laughs> Okay, the key is up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is there a way up? Hmm. My son, time runs short and the heathens march not far away. Should I fall, I wish you to have our family heirlooms. It is your birthright. I hid the chest below, below, below ground in the fermentation chamber. The hidden entrance is nearby where you and your brothers used to hide in the shed. Interesting. What's the intel? Nice and done. Oh. Okay. In the shed. You a shed? Hey, there we go. That's what I've been waiting for. Um. We're looking for a fermentation chamber in a shed. But every building here <laughs> looks like a shed. Hey, Paddy. Probably around here somewhere. Maybe. Hey, here we go. What the hell? Kept this. Why didn't you, lads? Nice little hideout. Tungsten doesn't feel that important. Must be sad. But uh, what are you gonna do? Right, let's head home. Oops, Daisy. Oops, Daisy. Oops, Daisy. Turn this in. Check out our level three stuff. And then next episode, when we do one, hopefully we'll finally get a multiplier. I don't know how the multiplier works. Because we're level 2, so why don't we get a multiplier? But I guess you get level 2 after only one mission, so then that would make the multiplier a bit pointless. So maybe you need to hit level 3 for the multiplier to kick in at like 1.5 or 2.0 or whatever. We shall see. Pierre, don't forget, it's your turn to feed Phantom today. It is always Pierre's turn. And he'll sooner jump into the lake than forget to feed Phantom. Shut up, both of you. <laughs> he lost the car. <laughs> Good work. Let me know if you're looking for more to do. Thanks, buddy. I technically am level 3, so maybe this will get me the times bonus now. Yeah, 1.3 times. It's, it's a big boost, actually. An extra 90, that's pretty sweet. I'm surprised to see that cat still here. It will not leave, and it takes up space. It does not help that Dero and Enna find amusement in how attached it is to me. Your little band of rebels is growing. Funny. But truthfully, they grow stronger with each victory. As does their confidence. They are bolstered by our victories. And it's easier to convince new recruits to join. Soon this hideout will not hold them all. We will face that when the time comes. For now, we fight. So what are they what doing? They're standing <laughs> Have they never heard of personal space? What can we do for the rebels? Alright. Oh, hello. Look at all this. I didn't expect new stuff here. Okay, so we can add another range fighter. Eliminating a target of a solo meh. Upgrade a marksman. The perception radius of solo mission targets is reduced slightly. Ugh. Flaming arrows though. <laughs> and in the shop, yeah, I think it's probably gonna end up just being pretty cool runes. I do like the runes. There's none of them I actually actually that one's really good. Eleven health four armor. That's pretty sweet. But we'll end up picking up this Reaper set. I wouldn't say it's a particularly good set in terms of the bonuses, but we'll pick it up. Uh, I'm going to wait for now. I'm going to keep puffing this up, actually. Uh, where is it? This one. Because that's the one that's going to get me extra coinage, you know? That's all for now. How yeah. can I help? And let's have a look at the missions, see that if there are any different... I've got the second solo mission. Same price, though. Yeah, so we get an extra 50 plus a 1.3 times bonus, so that would be, what, so how many people do I have? Four? 
So that's 200, 400, plus a 1.3 on the 400 means what? I think it means I need to stretch. I can't be bothered with the maths. <laughs> well, you divide it by four and then times it by three. No, you don't. That's not maths. Anyway, so, <laughs> right, so we'll, uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll pick up another one of those. Actually, I'll just pick it up now because I'm here. I'm just getting nearby. Uh, tell you what, we'll, we'll go for that one, try to get a bit more cash. Eh, no, we'll just do that one. So we'll start off next episode, we'll do another one of those, and then we'll carry on with the main game, and then we shall uh, finish off with one of those as well. But level three, pretty cool. Lots of rebel allies. Life is good. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks next time. Oh, we've got to do our skills first. Bloody Nora. <laughs> Bear with me. Going over here, because I think, yeah, we can now get this one. So we now got draw upon the vitality of Iden, passively regenerate recent health after a short delay. Very cool. And now we're going to go and try to pick up this one over here. Cool. Now, thank you for joining me. I'll see you, lovely folks, next time. Cheers, much love as always. Bye bye.